Hey guys, it's Barlock here, bringing you another Pokemon trading card game video. Uh, in today's video, I I got a little lucky actually. I went by Walmart uh, the other day, and a lot of the a lot of their cheaper sets have been sold out. Like they had a lot of older sets on clearance, and have kind of been keeping an eye on them, like those uh, Giratina packs um, and uh, the Elite Trainer boxes as well. Um, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to find anything. And like, I, I, it was my birthday the other day, so I had a little bit of money uh, that I could that I could spend. Uh, but while I was looking through the packs, I noticed that they had one more <laughs> Sun and Moon Elite Trainer box left. I thought that these had all been sold out, uh, and like, it's thirty six bucks for one of these things, which is almost fifty percent off. It's like it's like forty to fifty percent off somewhere between there. So um, yeah, I mean for eight packs. I know I've already got two of these things so far, but uh, let's make it an even three. And hopefully this time we can get the uh, e uh, Espeon or Umbreon GX card that we've been looking for. Um, but yeah, so we're going to open this thing up and see what we can find inside. Okay, so just before we get this opened up, um, I actually found a couple packs that someone else had already opened up. So I'm going to uh, just show those off real quick, uh, just because there's some interesting stuff in there. And I will be giving away the codes that were with those uh, during this video. So uh, just be sure to pay attention for that. Uh, so yeah, so there was a Steam Siege and a Evolutions pack in there, so let's just show it off. There was a <laughs> Hollow Shift Tree, which is really cool looking. Um, du dual typing as well, which is, uh, that's really unique. Um, I don't know why they didn't just, like, keep this pack. Uh, got an Ambipom with Furry Chance, which is a weird but funny attack. Uh, they're rare for the Evolutions pack they got was, uh, Here Comes Team Rocket, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's Magmar, Mankey, Monferno, Clink, uh, Ninja Boy, Caterpie, Meryl, uh, Mantine, Wilmer. Uh, one of those cute Shellos, a Ghastly, uh, Charmander, really classic card right there. Uh, Rotata, a Surfing Pikachu, which is awesome. I haven't seen one of those in ages. And uh, and the Clank. So that was uh, so it was, those were all the cards that they had just like <laughs> not bothered to take home with them, I guess. Like or maybe they maybe they like opened a pack and their mom was like, hey, don't do that. And made them leave them behind or something. But like it's not even the first time I've seen that at Walmart. Like I've seen cards just like lying around that someone had. I don't know if they'd stolen them or if they would like opened up a pack and then just like left it behind or something. But like I've seen that happen a couple times. Um, okay, I'm just gonna open this up off screen real quick so I don't knock the camera again. I've already knocked it a couple times. I feel kind of bad about that. Alright. Well, I guess while we're waiting, I'll show off our first code and then we'll show off the second one maybe halfway through uh, the video. And I'll probably do one more after that. Uh, so, here you go. Alright, so I'm just going to dispense with the usual sorts of things I do here since we've already opened up two of these uh, Sun and Moon ones before. So I'm not going to just show off all the, the tokens and and stuff that are inside. So I'm just gonna get onto the packs. Oh, there is a, there's a bonus uh, code here though. So I'll put that with the rest. And there's some dice. I'll put that code there. And there's all of our energies. Out. Uh, I like the sleeves actually. The sleeves in these things are pretty nice. I uh, put them on one of my decks a little earlier in there. I like how they felt for sure. Okay, so we'll just move straight on to the packs. So let's start off with the Primarina one. So first of all, we got a Steel Energy, a Poison Barb, 
Dragonair, a Charger Bug, nice. Popplio, I always like Popplio. A Wingull, Surskit, Young Goose, Litten, a Reverse Hollow and Rare Sharpedo, so that's nice. That's uh, that'll be going in our pile for sure of stuff we want to keep. And a Hollow Polyrath. Well, that's a pretty good. That's pretty good for a first pack. Wow, look at the Hollow on that. It looks really cool. So Split Pirate Spiral Punch. It's not confused. I, I was getting confused just saying the word. <laughs> And if they're affected by a special condition, it does 80 more damage. Nice. That's a, that's a pretty cool card. I will put both of those aside. Alright, so... Put up our second pack. Okay, so we got a... Fire Energy. Ooh, Brion! Cute. I like that card a lot. Got a Big Malasada, a Pukamuku, a Dratini, a Lolan Diglett, Bounce Sweet, a Skarmory. I like that card as well. Cutie Fly, a Reverse Hollow is another rare. It's a Parasect. Been pretty lucky with the uh, Reverse Hollows so far. And our rare is a Two Cannon. Nice. I love Two Cannon. Cool. I like, you know, I like both of those as well. I'm gonna put both of those aside, which is kind of unusual. I don't usually put the, like that many of the rares and reverse hollows that we get. I'm usually just putting aside uh, commons and stuff because I love cool art or it's something I like in general. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Oh, and there you go. There's the code. Okay, so we have a, oh, well, yeah, something sparkling over the corner, I wonder what it is. Uh, let's, we'll get to it in time though, so we've got Grass Energy, we have a Golbat, Pokemon Catcher, a Pisimian, Firo, Paris, to go with our Parasect, a Lillipop, Bound Sweet, Dupider, a Reverse Hollow Lily, a pretty nice card right there, and our GX is a, oh, it's another Incineroar GX! Nice. I uh, got this in the. I think I got this in the last one we had. Uh, so that's two now. That's we could actually make a deck out of this thing. Huh. Okay, that's cool. I've been, I've been like trying to come up with like new decks. So like now that I've got two Incineroar GX, I could actually like straight up just make a deck out of a fire deck around them. Like I, I don't like having just one GX in a deck by any means. But now that it, like. Obviously having uh, multiple is better for like redundancy, in case you get them in like prizes or something like that. Oh man. Okay. Um, so there's a little bit of sparkle on the corner here somewhere too, so we're getting we're getting pretty lucky. Uh, we've got a fire, uh, fighting energy, pincer, a rare candy, another Brion, nice. A Lolan Grimer, Spiro, Grubbin, another Firo, Snubble, a, re a reverse hollow version of the Lolan Grimer. And Tauros GX. Oh, oh man, there's a card I've got that does something when you have uh, Tauros and Tauros GX. Uh, so what does this thing do? It's got uh, Rage. Does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon, which is pretty freaking good. That could be a lot of damage. Uh, it's got Horn Attack and Mad Bull GX. This does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Holy crap! Oh, holy crap! Oh, that is a really cool card. Huh. I like that. I'm gonna have to find out what that uh, Tauros and Tauros GX card was, because like there's there's um there's like oh man, there's, I think it does like additional damage for each Tauros and Tauros GX card you have on your team, but that that could like pile up real quick that Tauros right there. So we've got a Dark Energy, a How, Wishy Washy, a, a Lolan Fat Rat, Chin Chow, a Lolan Rattata to go along with the Fat Rat, Rog and Rolla, a Marini, that's pretty cool, I don't think I've had a Marini yet, a Cabrawler, Reverse Hollow Pelipper, which is cool, I actually like this card. Uh, and then we got a Cosmoem for a rare, not bad. Um, Let's put both those aside. 
All right, so we got three packs to go. We're, in, <laughs> we're doing pretty well. It's two GXs. I don't, it's uh, good luck for me, and I've still got most of the set to go, so hopefully we just get a little bit more luck. Okay, so we got a Fighting Energy, Experience Share, another Pillipper, Crocorock, a cute little Growlithe, a Surskit, Flamantis, a Morlow, Sandy Gast, Bound Sweep for a Reverse Hollow, and a Cloister for our rare. Uh, that's not a bad card. Guard Press uh, takes 20 less damage from attacks, and does 30 more damage, uh, and if tails your opponent's back to Pokemon, it's now paralyzed. So that's not bad. Either way, it would give you a good result. Uh, so going on to the second to last pack. And I think on this one, I think on this one I'm going to give a bonus code. Just for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Two, three, four. All right, so we got a Fairy Energy, a Crushing Hammer, a Poliwhirl, Dragonair, another Poplio, Wingall, a Surskit, Young Goose, a Litten, a Reverse Hollow Rare Candy, and a Decidueye. Nice. So that one's got uh, Leaf Blade and Brave Bird. That's decent. I'm actually going to put that aside. I like Decidueye. It's a cool Pokemon. And let's show off our last pack now. Hopefully, uh, still no. Uh, we're getting. I, I can't complain about the uh, <laughs> the cards that I've gotten so far, but still no. Uh, still no Espeon or Umbreon GX. I mean, the odds of me getting it are not great, but uh, you never know. Also, there's our last uh, code that we're given there. Well, unless I decide to give a bonus, who knows? Uh, so we have a Psychic Energy, a Illamar, Spinda, a Araquanid. Wow, okay, a Water Bottle. Water Bubble could just screw another deck over completely. Um, I'm gonna actually put that aside, that's crazy. Now we've got a Marini, a Stuffle, Togedomaru, a little Grimer, Flamantis, a Reverse Hollow Wingull, to go with our Reverse Hollow Pelipper, and a Beware. I like that viewer. I've, I've uh, put that aside a couple times, but it's a, it's a nice card. Alright. You know what, I can't promise, I, I can't even hint at a bonus code without actually giving away one, so. Here you go, I've been very generous, I think, on this one. So, there you go, that's, uh, that's what, five codes so far, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you get one of those codes, then be sure to uh, leave a like and comment, maybe even share, because I am trying to go grow this channel and any help is appreciated. Um, so yeah, so let's just show off the cool stuff that we got here then. So we got that Beware, I really like the super power attack. Uh, just the choice of being able to do more damage if you need it. It's really good, there's the Rockwinid, which could just screw over a fire deck like my Incineroar. Uh, Decidueye, just cool Pokemon in general. Parasect, uh, I just like it because it's reverse hollow mostly. I uh, like two cannon, two cannon Sam, and then uh, we got the reverse hollow Sharpedo, which is always cool. Uh, I got two of these actually, so that's another Pokemon I could actually build a deck around if I wanted to. Uh, we got Polyrath, just a cool card in general, and then we got another Incineroar GX, and we got the Tauros GX. So that was a pretty good haul, I would say, for. Um, uh, good, good for me, anyway. I don't usually... It's unusual for me to get uh, even one GX in a Elite Trainer box, so I'm uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, un unboxing video. Uh, it's probably the last time we're going to get another Sun and Moon one, because I didn't... Uh, I did not see any more there. They're mostly... It's weird, they have... They were charging less for the Sun and Moon boxes than they were than they are for, like... X and Y ones, like they still have Breakthrough and like Fates Collide uh, Elite Trainer boxes there, but they're selling them for like 50 bucks, which is insane considering they're selling, the, 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 they're trying to do these Sun and Moon ones on clearance. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is Barlock, signing off.